back to another lippy review. So today we're doing a Lip Smacker Lippy Pals, and this one is the Hibernate and S'more. Look how cute this little bear is. Oh my gosh. So we're going to go ahead, open it up. I love the imagery on the background, by the way, because it's like Candyland vibes. Like we've got trees in a park, but also like, I don't know if they're gumdrops or what on the ground, and then like arches of candy canes, but then just random, like... I don't know if they're supposed to be tents or what, but they're just like random ass s'mores everywhere in the background. It's kind of epic. Just saying. Anyway, so. Opening this bad boy up. Trying to anyway. it. Okay. Oh, dropped it. Frick. <laughs> These are not easy to open. Okay. Got it. Kind of fine. There's the missing piece. I was like, where's the missing piece of plastic land? Let me grab it just so I don't step on it later. Okay, anyway. So, here it is. A oh, man, really? We got, like, that light? Hold on. Sorry about that. I gotta love the summer months for that, but not window. Anyway, so look how freaking cute this little bear is with little rosy cheeks and little eyelashes. Oh, my goodness. So, packaging just looks like that. Just opens like so. Just a normal lip balm inside. I will say the lippy pals do not close very tightly. So probably not one you want to throw in a bag because this will come off with like the tiniest bit of provocation. It's kind of a problem even in the caboodle that I keep these in. It happens. So, and those are sitting still with no one messing with them. <laughs> so just saying. Uh, the wax in this is like a slightly orangey brown, as you can see, kind of terracotta. Ooh, that smells good. But, um, we'll come back to the scent when we get to that part of the review. Price on these is, I believe, $5 full price, although right now it looks like they're on sale on the website. I don't know if they're on clearance or what, but they're only three something right now as of filming. Uh, but yeah, so... These contain 0.14 ounces in them, so a touch less than standard stick, but standard for lip smacker. So I don't know if these are limited edition or not. Like, I know some are, some aren't, and I'm not sure where this one falls on that line. It is synthetic, not organic. The ingredients are castor seed oil, cetyl, or cetyl acetate, beeswax, um... Candelilla wax, flavor, aroma, polybutane, paraffin, sesame seed oil, carnauba wax, hydrogenated soybean oil, mineral oil, acetylated, or yeah, acetylated lanolin alcohol, microcrystalline wax, uh, wheat germ oil, stearic acid, stevia, leaf and stem extract, sucralose, propylene glycol, propylene gallate. Citric acid, phenoxyethanol, and copperol. And then has the may contain and different colorants in it. So, that's that. They are synthetic. So it's not medicated, no SPF, no special features, other than having a cute little bear on it. So, as for what it smells like, it's kind of almost like that generic sweet smell they do for so many of them now. Like, it's a little bit chocolatey, but not even the straight-up, just fake chocolate smell. You could make an argument that maybe... Maybe it's even, like, closer to caramel. Because, like, the sweetness, I suppose you can make an argument maybe it's supposed to be, like, the marshmallow? I don't get graham cracker out of that. I don't particularly get chocolate out of it, to be honest with you. It's more caramel than anything. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Nice and creamy, anyway. Okay. Kind of tastes like marshmallow, so all right, we're getting somewhere. It is a thick lip balm. 
I will say that. It's very creamy and it's not sticky, which is really nice, actually. Um, yeah, it's actually got a really, really good feel to it. Kind of impressed. <laughs> it's very shiny, which you know I love. As you can see, it's not tinted or anything. It just goes on clear. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the drink test with it. didn't thin out or anything, so all's good as far as I can tell. Uh, but would I give it the wow factor? No. Is it super cute? Absolutely. Do I love it for what it is? Yes. But I mean, just in terms of just products in general, it's not wowing me, so I cannot in good faith give it that point. So what would I rate it? Well, I'm docking one point off for how easily that cap just falls right off. That is an issue right there. So, I still feel these are overpriced, but I'm not even going to count that against it. I, I don't think it's overpriced enough to really dock a point for that, because I think everybody's gotten used to the pricing model for these. Um, it doesn't smell like a s'more to me. It just doesn't. It smells caramely. Uh, no wow factor. But I think, I think, I would still give it a 7 out of 10. It's still decent, it's still usable, it's still nice. It's very, very cute. <laughs> I'm just saying that, you know, just to take it for what it is, the target demographic for these is children. So, how high a quality do you really expect it to be? But then again, there's plenty of us who grew up with these and still collect them, therefore they know this. Lip Smackers knows this. Um, we do expect the quality to be like we remember them being, and the quality of Lip Smackers before Mark Wins bought them was much better than what it currently is now. So it's not me just hating on because, ugh, kid product, no. It's because they used to be better than they are. If the product quality had always been like this from day one, I don't think I would be as harsh on them, but because it used to be so much better and went downhill, that's why I'm harsh on it. And I live in hope that maybe one day they'll do the thing and fix their shit, but so far... Anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more, it's all down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. Anyway guys, until next time, see ya.